Well, hi there, Andrew Bell. I have some really interesting news to share with you this week. Now, consumer confidence is a key component of the real estate market. When confidence is up, there is a significantly more activity, which ultimately reflected in the price has been paid. Now, for four decades, Australia has run a current account deficit and has relied upon capital inflows from abroad to fund our standard of living. But Exante Data, a New York-based macro economics firm has predicted Australia will print its first current account surplus during the coming quarter and the first since 1975. It's been driven by a surge in commodity prices however the analyst shows a more structural trend that's developing within the Australian economy that suggests that surpluses may be maintained for years to come. The report says that Australia is on the verge of a profound moment that will compel analysts and investors and policy makers to rethink their view on Australia. We have been seen as a very volatile country in the past, but the report suggests that this is changing and in fact suggests that Australia is standing out globally as one of the few countries with improvement in current accounts, whilst many other countries are indeed seeing their current accounts heading downwards. It's really putting Australia in a very strong position on the international stage. Now add to that the Westpac Melbourne Institute leading index, which indicates the likely pace of economic activity in the future, and it's shown a strong turnaround in the month to June. Driven by share market gains, better than expected dwelling approval numbers, and higher commodity prices. The index, which measures likely growth over the next three to nine months, compared with the trend growth, has risen. Whilst this should boost consumer confidence, one of the most obvious signs of a very healthy economy is unemployment, which seems to be stuck around the 5.2% level. This is why we're likely to see one further interest rate drop of a quarter percent, but that may well be the last we will see. One other piece of interesting information that leads to consumer confidence is that the average household wealth in Australia has passed the $1 million bracket for the first time ever, up more than 37% compared to a decade ago, thanks largely to property prices and surging superannuation balances. It's not just the rich who are driving up the average, according to the latest survey, of income and wealth by the Australian Bureau of Statistics, despite the common belief that income and wealth inequality has remained relatively stable since 2013-14. And the distribution of income between the rich and the poor actually improved marginally in the past decade. Rising property values are the main contributors to the increase, which shows how significant property is to the wealth of Australians, and should be a sign to everyone that they need to be sure that they have their share of real estate in the family's assets. Now, the average household superannuation balance has almost doubled from 112,500 in 2005 6 to 213,700 in 2017-18. So some really good and positive stories that don't always get the attention of the media, but do have an underlying support to the future of Australia, and certainly in the medium term. It's no surprise we're seeing activity in the real estate market continuing with its solid performance post the election. And whilst we are not seeing any significant surge in prices, it's just a wonderful market in which buyers and sellers can both proceed with confidence and in which we're able to help Australians into their first homes or their new homes or indeed investment properties. Now, don't forget to book for this year's Ray White Service Paradise Musker the Dystrophy Ball. We have some exciting auction items, including a return trip to Melbourne on a private jet with accommodation, helicopter transfers, and lots of other exciting pieces to the package. It will be a great night. and We'd love to have you with us there, so details are on screen. Well, that's it for this week. I look forward to being with you again in a fortnight's time. Stay safe.